Before I forget, I have a quick throwback feature to a version 1 software update which has been carried over in version 2. The ability to browse other on the add embellishment tab. Okay, before, in a previous tutorial, I explained how to add new embellishments and papers to your software for use. In that tutorial, I had you place new embellishment files within my memory suite program directory so that you were able to find it on the add embellishment tab. Now when you go to add an embellishment, so if I click on add here, you'll see that you have the option to browse other down here in this bottom left corner. Now this allows you to browse any directory on your computer to find an embellishment that you want to use. It's just a small update, but it's a big one when it comes to convenience and ease in adding embellishments to your pages. So now it doesn't matter where you store your embellishments on your hard drive. You'll be able to import them into the software with the new Browse Other button. So if it's not something that you have saved, that's here in the original My Memory Suite program file directories, like let's say you know I pick some of the pre-built um, embellishments. If it's not one of these, if it's something that I've recently saved to my computer, for example, on this original um, tutorial, I had this Ticketmaster ticket that was scanned in and saved as a JPEG, and um, I had you put it in the program's directories. Now this could be saved anywhere on my computer, and by clicking Browse Other down here in the bottom, I can browse to any directory on my computer to add this embellishment. This is a huge update for those of us who don't want to clog up the My Memory Suite directories, or you know we want to organize our added embellishments elsewhere on our computer besides in the program's directory. So that's a really great new little feature, and that came along sometime in version one, and um, since my original tutorial, so I just wanted to, to bring that up. Um, now while we're looking at the Add Embellishment tab, I'd like to point out to users who originally had version 1 and who will be or have already upgraded to version 2, that your original version 1 embellishments and papers have been carried over into version 2, and you'll find them in the structure together in a folder labeled version 1. So let's find something that's new, um, maybe in stitching. Um, in the stitching section, I love stitching, I love putting the little um, stitches along the edges of my pages. Um, in the stitching you've got new sections, you've got curved, straight, zigzag, and right here you'll see it says version 1 stitching. This is just to let you know that all the things from version 1 have been carried over and they're all collected right here in one spot. So now if you click here, you've got straight and zigzag, zigzag stitching, but this is all from version 1. So your originals are here from version 1, but then all of these are new to version 2. So if I go into curved, um, it's probably hard to see on your screen, but this is all wavy now. You can get stitching that's wavy, um, and the new zigzags um, as well. So the new stuff is right there, and if you're looking for version 1 stuff, um, it's, it's labeled as version 1 stitching, or version 1 frames, or version 1 rickrack. Um, those are all put together in one spot, so it's easy to find all of your old stuff, as well as see what all is new. Um, Speaking of favorites, um, one of my favorite new features in version 2 is that the papers and embellishments that you find yourself using often can now be marked as a favorite right on the Add Embellishments interface. So let's say um, with these little flowers, where were those flowers at? Right here. Let's say these little um, simple flowers here, I really like it. Let's say I find myself using this blue flower a lot. I always, I'm always using this blue flower, it seems like, or I use it on a lot of my pages, and I want it to be something quick and easy to get to. I don't want to have to remember where I find it in my directory every single time I want to add it to a page. So what you can do is click this new button here that's new to version 2, Add to Favorites. When you do that, it's going to add this blue flower to my favorites. Now where are my favorites? They're all the way at the bottom. If you scroll down to Favorites and click on it, you'll see that this blue flower is now saved here. So if I go through and I add a lot of my commonly used embellishments to my favorites, any time that I need to get to those, instead of having to remember, oh my gosh, which directory did I, is it in, all I do is come all the way down to favorites, click on favorites, and here it is. If you've got something in here now that you want to remove, you can very easily click this remove from favorites part. So it's really great to go through. It's kind of like adding a bookmark to all the things that you use a lot to make sure you can find it really easily. That's really cool, huh? Something else that's cool in version 2 is that you can now view pages one at a time as normal or you can view pages together as a double page spread. This is another one of those most commonly asked questions that I would receive from visitors to my craft blog about my memory suite. Now you can view pages side by side so that you can line up double page spreads easily. 
all right, to change whether you see each page. Now, right now, I've got this page right here. It's set up as maximized, one page at a time. As I click on my various pages, I just see one at a time. But let's say I wanted this page and the next page to be a double page spread. Like I know when I, I have my photo book made, I'm going to have these two as a double page spread. I need to make sure they line up properly. So to do that, you're going to click on View. And the option here says Page Windows. I'm going to click Page Windows and it's going to create each window in its own little page. So right now I've got page 3 open. I'm going to move it over and now I'm going to open up page 2. So by clicking on page 2, it's going to open it up in its own page window. Alright, so now I can drag the two pages side by side and I can line them up here and make sure that if this was printed as a double page spread that I have everything lining up the way that I want to. Um, this is going to be really useful for people who like to create large page, two page spreads where <clears throat> excuse me, some text would go from this page and cross over onto this page or some word art would cross over or a picture or two would be, you know, be connected. Um, maybe you wanted to have a piece of ribbon that goes from all this page all the way over to this page. You'd be able to line everything up to make it look seamless. If you ever want to go back to just seeing one page at a time, you can go right back up to view and choose maximize page and it will take you right back to just seeing one page at a time. It's completely up to you if you want to be able to flip back and forth click you know view page windows or view maximize page you can go back and forth between the two views anytime you want whatever's you know most preferable for you which is really cool the last set of features that I want to touch on are new ways that you can share your creations in my memory suite now I noticed while playing around with version 2 when you, when you click on the share album side here at the t uh, side tab um, when I was playing around with version 2, I noticed that one way you can share your pages now is in calendar format. Here's a calendar option right here. Um, I don't remember that being an option before, so it may have been added in an update to version 1, or it might be new to version 2. Another way to share your creations, I noticed, is with um, the trading cards option, which is right here. I don't remember trading cards being in there in the original tutorial, so um, I thought I would bring it up here because it's completely new to me. I don't remember when it was updated, but making calendars with your digital scrapbooking pages is really awesome. It would be a really great gift, um, and trading cards would be a great way to show off. You know, if you've got kids who are playing hockey or, or baseball or football, um, you can make your own trading cards for them. Um, one other way that they've updated and changed the share album process is that they have um, brought an update to the way that you create photo books with the software. They've streamlined the process and they've made the whole upload to the website and creation options along the way a lot easier and simpler for the everyday user. So if you're creating a photo book, with my memory suite. The old way was kind of complicated. You had to upload, choose the pages and upload them yourself. Um, now this is all streamlined and when you create a photo book with my memory suite, um, it does everything for you. It makes it really simple and easy. Um, if you've ever made a photo book with version one and now you get version two and try it, I think you'll notice right away version two makes that process a whole lot simpler, which is really great. And actually, that's it for the fifth tutorial in my, my Memory Suite series. If you want to read more about the version 2 upgrade and its features, be sure to visit MyMemorySuite.com where you get all of the details and you can either upgrade your version 1 or purchase and download version 2 immediately. I tr Trust me, you will not be sorry. As always, I'm here to help you with your questions about using My Memory Suite. Remember, I'm not an employee of StoryRock, nor are they paying me to do this. I've just been using My Memory Suite for over three years now, and I love it dearly, and I want to help others with it. You can read my review of the software, you can watch four other tutorials I've created over the years that help you get the most out of My Memory Suite, and you can ask me questions all over on my craft blog, located at craftblog.pinktook.com. Feel free to email me, craftblog at pinktook.com, anytime with your My Memory Suite version 2 questions. Thanks for watching and have a happy new year.